Hello, Serge here from the backyard driving range. Today, I'm going to uh, cover something that I guess many of us think about, talk about, have heard about, and and it's uh, it's about is golf really a sport? Is golf really exercise? And when I'm going to read a a daily column from Dr. Donahue. I've, you've heard me mention him a number of times here, uh, out here, and. He had a, he's got an extremely good one today in that the question that's asked on the headline is, what's your opinion on golf being real exercise? Dear Dr. On Donahue, what's your opinion on golf being real exercise? I believe it has next to nothing to offer when it comes to conditioning or to health in general. It's more a scenic ride around a, nice manly, a nicely manicured park where people play at a game that strikes me as being nothing more than croquet. My brother spends endless hours at this game. He's one of the most out of shape humans on this planet. Just how many calories do players burn in 18 holes? I respect your judgment. Is golf bona fide exercise or is it nothing more than shooting pool? Good, good questions and good thoughts in terms of, of our, what kind of physical good uh, things are we getting out of playing golf? Well, let's see what Dr. Donahue says. His answer is, I got it, you don't like golf. I think that's a good part to start with on as far as this person goes who wrote the question. He goes on to say, I consider golf true exercise. I'll read that again. I consider golf true exercise. A round of 18 holes covers about five miles. If a golfer walks the course, there's no doubt in my mind that he or she gets more than a decent workout. I haven't seen many professional golfers who appear out of shape. Most are on the lean side. I think he's correct there. We got a few of the chubby ones and everything else, but overall, I was just, at the last tour event I was at, I was just looking at how many of them now are, are over six feet to begin with. It's a, becoming a taller person sport, it appears, but how many of them are really in pretty darn good shape and how many of them we know are physically working out and, and, and staying and getting stronger and more fit, working on on, uh, on everything that can help their body be, be more strong and, and, and durable and flexible and supple and, and all of those other aspects. So it definitely works there and as we know they walk all the way in, on, on golf and some of these courses are, can get pretty darn hilly and then when you get into the summertime and it's so really hot they're into, they're into diet and nutrition and having to stay hydrated so there's a lot of things in golf especially when, when you get into the summer when it's hot. The total number of steps taken in covering 18 holes is 12,000 more than 10,000 steps a day that health gurus set as a daily goal for obtaining benefits from the heart and for the heart and circulation. I'm going to get letters from people who say estimates of steps is poor criterion of a workout. Each person has his own unique step distance and step pace to say nothing about body size. President George H.W. Bush is said to have played golf at unbelievable speed. He was once clocked at finishing 18 holes in less than an hour and a half. He's still in excellent shape at a truly senior age. The calorie cost of walking 18 holes is estimated at 300 calories an hour. That's 300 calories an hour is the estimated cost uh, or benefit of walking 18 holes. The first time I read that I, I was I was incredulous. However, three independent and respected sources agree with approximately the same calorie burning estimate. I can't tell how great the benefit is of riding a golf cart to play this game. I do know it's better than doing nothing, but not as great as traveling the course on foot. I can't tell you how much more strenuous carrying clubs is than is using a wheeled club carrier. Okay, he's talking about a, a push or a pull cart. So you got, you got the word from Dr. Donahue, he's a world-renowned uh, columnist, writes an article uh, daily article in most newspapers and, and I think I'm fortunate to have them because every now and then we come up with something good that we talk we can use about golf. Let's talk, let's talk about walking versus riding. Well, if you can walk, I think you're better off walking. If you're riding and sharing a cart with somebody, you can actually exchange each one, each taking turns to, to, to drive the cart. You do it on the even holes, your, your riding partner does it on the odd holes. And uh, let's say you're, you've got a riding partner that really wants to ride more than walk, Take advantage of it and, and, and uh, walk, get that extra exercise. And, and uh, I personally like to walk as much as I can. And, and, and when I go out, I carry my bag and uh, I keep it a little on the heavy side. Anybody who picks up this bag right here, this is my walking bag, I use it to walk too. And people who pick it up just say, holy cow, 
What do you got in it? Bricks? No, but I got. I keep a lot of my. Since I use this in uh, lessons and everything else, I keep a number of things in here for for my uh, that I use in lessons and things. And I and I keep a little bit heavy for a good workout. And now I will say, my chiropractor wants me to go to a push cart to take the stress off my back. But I think my back's holding out pretty good, and I and and I like to exercise or walking. Uh, but I, I see sometime in the future where I'll go to pushing a cart. So now not only am I walking, but I'm pushing or pulling it. Now you can go out and buy those if you if you say like you can't carry it because of some health issues or whatever. And and realistically, that's another reason why they want me to do it after having had my my uh, bypass surgery. Uh, you can always get those those. Uh, they're a little on the expensive side, but they're well worth it. You get those carts that, that you can put a, a homing device in your pocket, or you get somewhere on the handle, they got a button, you just push the button, and, and the cart just pulls itself right along. And, and uh, Or, as I said, they got some of these homing ones that just stays about five feet behind you, and wherever you, it just follows you wherever you go. Uh, you better learn to not walk too close to the edge of the lakes because if they get on a hill, the, your clubs will go tumbling in the water if it's staying right behind you. But there's so many ways to be able to walk and, 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 and get that exercise. And naturally, golf, in, golf involves uh, walking from uh, where you hit the ball to where it ends up and then hit it again. So it's not, it's not the same as continuous walking where you walk two or three miles nonstop and you can get up a good pace. But myself, I like to walk in the rough as much because I got to pick my feet up more and it gives me a better workout. I walk up, I walk up hills like tees when I go up the hills. I, I'll, 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 instead of walking around the side, I walk right up the side of the hill and, and, and get that extra uh, workout on my legs and my, and, and, and my body just go, uh, getting a better workout and having to uh, you know, build up my blood pressure, uh, not my blood pressure, but my breathing, my heart rate because I'm walking straight up the hills. So I like to turn it into, a, into, a, uh, into an exercise like that. When I'm out on tour with DJ, I walk. I tend to walk in the rough all the time, and I do try to walk up and down the hills as much as I can, uh, and, and, and at as clip a good pace as I can, uh, to, again, to keep getting a better workout. So, as you heard Dr. Donahue say, golf is great for exercise, just you can decide how much exercise you want it to be. So if you're a cart rider, see if you and your partner, your, your person on the cart can, can swap off and, and, and take turns walking and get, walk at a really good brisk and uh, brisk pace and, and really give yourself a pretty good workout and you're gonna get even more out of your, your game of golf uh, health-wise as well as when you use the peak performance golf swing, you'll be hitting it more solid straight and longer and shooting those lower scores. So let's turn golf and keep it as, as good an exercise program as we can while we're out playing this great game of golf. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.